Today we're looking at wiring our SAT3 controller to our ISD141KYX. To start with we're looking at the SAT3 controller. Uh, wiring to the SAT3 is done via a four core shielded cable which is terminated onto the back of the controller. These terminals are labelled at the bottom A, B, ground and 12 volt. From there our wiring is then run through to our IEC board and at the top is located our RS485 connection at the top. Our four core shielded cable is then terminated, keeping in mind that A and B is our Modbus communication and that polarity needs to be correct between the two. Now that we've wired our SAT3 controller to our IUC board via our client wiring, we're going to look at now our communications between the indoor and the outdoor unit. This is done via a two core shielded cable which comes through our electrical panel and is actually terminated in the same socket as where our SAT3 controller is terminated. These terminals are an A and B and forms part of our Modbus communication between the indoor and the outdoor. Again, our polarity needs to be correct from our SAT3 controller through our IUC and then onto our UCA. The last part of the Modbus wiring between the ISD and our OSA outdoor unit is via our interconnect cable which we previously terminated on our IUC board. Connection into our outdoor unit is through our electrical compartment and onto our RS485 plug which is located second plug down on the UC8. Again, it is a two core shielded cable which is then terminated into our A2 and B2 terminals on the UC8.